Is Brad Pitt's picture on there over on your shoulder? Good evening. Good evening. That was very good. Well done. Right. Uh, we'll start off with the news, and of course, the headlines this week has to be the fantastic performance of Dina, uh, Dina Asher Smith in, in Oregon. Um, she, she's had fantastic runs and uh, she's come away with a bronze medal, so I think that deserves a good round of applause. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, as you probably have heard, she's pulled out of the Commonwealth Games because of a hamstring, um, but she's hoping to be fit for the, uh, for the European Games. So, uh, We'll, uh, we'll certainly wish her all the best for that. What, what I thought was interesting is, if you've, if you've seen it, that um, the, at the end of the 200 metres, when they did one of the interviews afterwards, because uh, she was beaten by the two Jamaicans, uh, Sherika Jackson and Shelley Ann, Price, Shelley Ann Fraser Price, and Shelley Ann Fraser Price uh, said to her that she, as her parents were of, of Jamaican origin, she was an honorary Jamaican and called her cousin Dina. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was, uh, it was good to see the camaraderie, camaraderie actually between them, considering what the rival was like when they're, when they're, when they're running. And, and I think um, Dina was very happy with her performances, and she, she paid tribute to John Blackie, thanked him as well, so uh, that was all excellent. Um, so the Commonwealth Games, as you're all aware, starts uh, Friday uh, in Birmingham, and although Dina's withdrawn, we've still got three athletes who will be representing the club, so Adam is Adam Jamil is going to be running in the 200 metres and the 4x100 metres relay. We've got Divine Oladipo in the, um, in the shot and Joseph Ellis in the hammer, so you can keep a look out for them. And at the same time as the Commonwealth Games uh, are going on, we've got the World Athletics Under-20 Championships, which are taking place in Colombia, and we've got five athletes, five of our young athletes, attending, attending there. So we've got... Uh, Jeriel Quaino, who's doing the 200 metres and the 4x1 relay. Sam Reardon's doing the 800 metres and the 4x4 relay. Faith Akinbilidji is doing the 4x100 metres. Cleo Agapong is doing the shot put. And Zara Oba Kinwa is doing the discus. So those are five really top class uh, athletes. Uh, it'll be good to see. So keep a look out for the results for that. First to the 6th of August in Colombia, that is. Um, new club record this week. Um, not much on over the weekend, but uh, Bailey Stickings ran in a ran in a 400 meter hurdles. I'm not quite sure where on Saturday, and clipped got, got his PB down again this time and a club record to 50.08. So he's improved by nearly two seconds over his uh, his time for last year. So well done, uh, Bailey. Uh, this weekend, we've got the Kent Masters. Where's the venue for that, Maz? I've got it some... Dartford. Dartford, okay. Kent Masters at Dartford. That'll start about six o'clock-ish, 6.30? 6 30. Yeah. Okay. And if you want to run, Maz will probably find a slot for you. Or throw... I need 50-year-old women. 50-year-old women, okay. <laughs> <laughs> enough, enough. Um, Right, and then on Saturday we've got the young, lower age group of the YDL down at Tunbridge. So we'll look out for the results for that next week. Um, Strava, so who's been running the miles the last week? Phil Sessaman again, of course, 121 miles. Ross Braden, oh, 79 miles. And Luca, uh, 65 miles. So yeah, not bad, but uh, hot weather for running. Uh, park run, we had 60 athletes, good turnout last weekend at uh, 24 different locations. Uh, first places, we had first place for Isla Spink at uh, Beckenham Place Park Run, she's an under 17, so that was good for her. Darren, Darren Conai was um, first at Sutcliffe Park, and Katie Murray was first lady at Bromley. And Katie was followed at home, followed home at Bromley by Millie Smith in third, and Kate Sugden in fifth and Sarah Bellon in sixth. So if that had been a team event, we'd have been way ahead. Uh, Jessica, Jessica Keane ran at Tooting and came second. So that's another notable performance. And Paul and Clayton, they're not here tonight. They ding-donged with each other at Beckenham Place Park for fifth and sixth. Furthest away park run this last weekend, Adrian Perry was in Ambleside, which is a fair way away, and Mark Ellison was in Haverford West, where I know I know he was doing some climbing over the weekend. 
Um, the record-breaking machine known as John Isaacs was um, smashing the age category record at Greenwich. And I'm, reli I'm reliably informed he now has the age category record at 23 park runs, which is... <laughs> okay, now we've had the uh, Paris handicap tonight, so I'm gonna ask Dick to come up and uh, run through the results of that, and then uh, we'll, we'll do the bonus ball. And I think we've got 300 club draw, haven't we, Tony? Yeah. Excellent. Right, good evening everyone. Right, um, numbers were down obviously because people are away on holiday, but we had nine runners and we had some exceptional times tonight and we've increased the course, so uh, the distance. And Lewis Brook ran an exceptional time of 16.47 to be the fastest male. John Clary, 17.22. And Ian Scott, 17.59, to be the fastest three. Well done, Ian. But the winner on the night for Handicap, um, to get 13 points, and to win a lovely bottle of the best red wine, Sheridan Morris. Sheridan, thank you very much. Well done. Don't drink it all tonight. Well, no, I'll try harder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'll give you the top one, two, three, top six now in the in the league table. Um, Ian Scott with twenty three points. James Shaw with twenty four. Steve Everton, who sent his apologies, he had a work commitment, so he couldn't do tonight. Twenty eight. But the top three: Sheridan Morris with thirty. Lewis Brook, 30, and in the lead with 34 points, the one and only John Turner. Hooray! Right. right. Sorry, very messed. Thank you very much to all the volunteers who came up tonight. Uh, we had a lot more volunteers than runners, but we can't, <laughs> but we can't run these things without volunteers. So thank you, everyone. Tony, Tony, do you want to come up and do the uh, 300 club? Uh, I have two spare numbers, so if anyone wants to give me six, I will. I'll give them three months' worth. Two numbers, if you want to come up, Tony, before I draw it. Don't all rush. <laughs> right, David. Yes, uh, this is for 75 quid. One. Blank. I'll turn it over. Um, 85. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 85. Ten tension is killing me. Yeah. 85 is Terry Amato. Hooray! Hooray! What's this one for? Uh, this is for 50. 50? Yeah. 169. Oh. Sorry, Drew. Sorry, Drew. 169. Yeah, 169, not yeah. 69. One, 169 is enough for anybody. 169 belongs to a member who used to support the club financially for a long, long time. Ken Tolkien. Oh, oh. right, well. And, and this is for 25 pounds. One, three, five. One, three, five. Sorry, I don't know nothing about him. Peter Moss. Oh, right, okay, uh, well. Right. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And, and, uh, and there is, you're right, there's, you've, got a, you've got a couple of spaces if anybody I wants. I still got two spaces if anybody would like one. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Tony. Uh, bonus ball, Terry. Right. We last, got... last week when I was Ray Walsh, unfortunately, um, because I didn't get it filled up, we have to... It's a discounted prize. It's a discounted prize. Yeah.
Right, well done, Ray. Yeah. Okay, well done, Ray. Right, moving on. Um, last week, I hope um, Dennis mentioned to you about the codes of conduct which EA registered athletes have to do. So, just a reminder to go onto the EA website and read through the appropriate code of conduct. It'll only take you five minutes. Um, we still have the vacancy for a press officer. Now, I've seen a job description for, for that, and it looks quite frightening. But I, we, we could do with some help, even on a temporary basis, just to help collate results um, and um, put them together for the club. In the meantime, I'd like to thank the team managers and Pat Kalman, who, uh, who keep me updated every week for items for the, uh, for the news. So, is there any, any other news from anybody? No other news. Very good. Well, listen, have a great, we've got a great week of athletics ahead of us. So enjoy that. And the nice thing is it's in Birmingham, so you won't have to get up in the middle of the night to watch it. So have a great week, everybody. Good night.